HMS Falcon L86 was an Egret class sloop built for the British Royal Navy. She was active during the Second World War and was a successful anti submarine warfare vessel, being credited with the destruction of four U boats. Born on the 19th of March 1937, under the 1937 building program from J.I. Thornycroft at Wolfston, Hampshire, she was laid down on the 7th of September 1937, launched on the 12th of September 1938, and completed on the 2nd of March 1939. Designed as a general purpose vehicle and intended for use as a survey ship in the West Indies, Pelican was modified during her build for service as a convoy escort and anti submarine warfare ship. On the 22nd of April 1940, the HMS Pelican, while on her way to Romsdale Fjord, carrying personnel of the Navy based party from Molden, was crippled by a German Ju 87 Stuka dive bomber. She was hit in the aft, setting off the depth charges. Pelican was towed to Lewick and then to Chatham for repairs that lasted until December 1940. In this film you can see the damage that was done to the stern of the ship. Quite considerable. My grandfather mentioned that 27 men died during this attack. I can't verify it, but that's what he told me. On the 11th of July 1942, German U-boat U-136 was sunk in the Atlantic, west of Madeira, Portugal, by the Free French destroyer Leopard, the British frigate HMS Spey, and British sloop HMS Pelican. On the 6th of May 1943, German U-boat U-438 was sunk in the North Atlantic northeast of Newfoundland by depth charges from British sloop HMS Pelican. All hands were lost. On the 14th of June 1943, German U-boat U-334 was sunk in the North Atlantic southwest of Iceland by depth charges from British frigate HMS Jed and British sloop HMS Pelican. All hands were lost. On the 14th of April 1944, German U-boat U-448 was sunk in the North Atlantic, northeast of the Azores, from depth charges from the Canadian frigate HMCS Swansea and the British sloop HMS Pelican. In this incident, nine of the crew tried to go for the deck gun and were shot. The other 42 became prisoners of war and were taken on board the HMCS Swansea and the British Sloop Pelican, respectively. This photo shows a prisoner of war from the German submarine U-448 arriving in port at Bristol, England on April 20th, 1944. Later, he would be sent to the holding camp in Greenwich, Scotland after first being interrogated. Orba Leutnant Susie Helmut Dotter was the first person to walk off the HMS Pelican, and he is seen here in this photo. Right behind him was the captain of HMS Pelican, Charles Edward Sheen.
With the end of hostilities, Pelican remained in service, operating with the Mediterranean fleet. She received the new pennant number F-86 and was based in Malta as part of the second frigate flotilla. This flotilla took part in patrols preventing illegal immigrants prior to the foundation of the State of Israel. In 1951, she was laid up in reserve, but she was recommissioned in 1954 and she served in the South Atlantic before finally being decommissioned in 1956. Sadly, HMS Pelican was scrapped in 1958. During the Second World War, the HMS Pelican was a successful U-boat hunter and convoy escort. She was awarded five battle honours. Norway, 1940. The Atlantic, 1942 to 1944. North Africa, 1942. Normandy, 1944. And the English Channel, 1944. My grandfather, James Murray, served on the Pelican from 1943 until the end of the war. So I'll leave you with some photos of his, of the Pelican and its crew. Sad to see her scrapped. She was a wonderful ship. Sunk a lot of U-boats. Success all round.